to get down here. Rose, what are you doing? Are you kidding me right now? We have to go. Look what time it is. We're already late. And seriously, with the sweatshirt right now? Rose, it's 85 degrees. You need to take that off. I'll be down in the car. daughter's funeral. Not now, Mom. Rose, let's go. the crowds he went up to the mountain and after he had sat down his disciples came to him he began to teach them saying blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted blessed are the meek for they will inherit the land blessed are when the Lord saw her he was moved with pity for her and said to her do not weep he stepped forward and touched the coffin and that the bearers halted and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The man sat up and
don't hang out that much, but I'm here for you, for anything. This is all my fault. What do you mean it's your fault? It's not your fault. It is my fault. Even it's my mom. Calm down, seriously. <laughs> Thank you.
Gross. Good morning, sweetie. You can't sleep all day every day, you know. Maybe today you could try to get out of bed. Maybe even try to get out of the house. I'm fine. Remember, I'm going back to work today. You really shouldn't be home alone. I think I'll text Emily. Mom, I'm fine. Okay. Text me when you get up, sweetie, okay? I love you. Have a great day. Wait, Mom. Did you close my door last night? I didn't. Your window's open. It must have been the wind, sweetie. Okay. You must be right. I love you. Have a great day.
Just come here. Okay. I want to give you something that Dad gave me a long time ago, and he said that keep me safe. What? Really? It's this bracelet. Really? Thank you. I don't think I need it anymore, and I love you. Thank you. Now I'll be dead.
Rose, are you okay? Emily? Rose, are you okay? I'm fine. Why are you here? Rose, what's going on? Nothing. Where were you all day? Me and your mom both texted you and you didn't answer. I even stopped by earlier and you weren't here. When did you start caring? Are you my new sister now? Look, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that before. It's fine. I'm losing my mind. What's going on? Everything. Talk to me. I can't. I, I've been seeing Grace. What do you mean seeing? I have to admit, I have just been seeing her. I'm staying here tonight. I don't care what you say. Oh, good morning. Don't judge me, okay? Judgment free zone here, but isn't it a bit early for that? I apologize. It's my way of coping with everything right now. Emily, I want to thank you for being there for Rose last night. Rose and I haven't always gotten along like a mother and daughter should. She needs you right now. And I just can't be that person. Of course. So I'll be here for both of you. Emily, you've been a blessing. Wait, some exchange happened last night. I didn't want to tell you, but I thought you might want to know. What is it? Rose told me she's been seeing Grace. Actually seeing her, not just in her dreams. I found her on the floor last night. Don't mention this to anyone. I'll take care of it. Do you think you can check on Rose again today? Yes, of course. I don't have any other plans today. Downstairs. You ruined my dress. Here, you can have it. I don't want it. It's yours. I tried to clean it up. I'm sorry. Sorry? I'm going to be late for dance and I have to walk. I said sorry. I don't believe you. Sometimes I wish I never had a sister. You know what? Sometimes I wish you were dead. You're disgusting. Oh yeah, I tell mom that I'm sleeping at Emily's tonight.
Rose, Rose, wake up, wake up. What's going on? I'm not sure. Grace isn't here. She didn't come home from the dance last night. I forgot to tell you, Grace is at Emily's. I called over to Emily's. Nobody's answering. We're, we're going to have to go out and see if we can find her. You know the route. I'll have you walk it. I'm going to be driving around, okay? Get up. Let's go. Hey, wait. Is Grace in big trouble? She is in big trouble. told me she saw Grace again, and I'm worried about her. She had a bad dream, and I thought you should know. We discussed this earlier. I'm going to take care of this. Don't worry about it, okay? Okay. You need to come by tomorrow? Of course. 
Paris. Thank you, she needs you right now. Those Grace's things? Yes. I really don't think it's okay to be going through her stuff. I need you to pick all this stuff up, Rose. I need you to go to bed. I'm gonna go take a bath. Don't even, don't even. You need to pick this stuff up, Rose, and you need to go to bed. take you out for a little bit today. I don't know. I'm fine here. You're going. Get your shoes on me downstairs.
thank you so much for bringing me out of the house today. Well, it was your mom's idea, but I'll do it anytime. I see you've been wearing Grace's sweatshirt a lot recently. I don't know why she wore it so many times. But it looks good on you. It just reminds me of her. Well, it is a little hot for a sweatshirt. I can't believe the two of us haven't hung out like this before. Honestly, I didn't even think you liked me before. I can't believe you thought that. Well, you were kind of a brat. You always were pulling pranks on us and getting in the middle of everything. You're right. I was a brat. But I just wanted to hang out with you guys. I loved having you around. I mean, do you remember last year at the water park? We all had so much fun together. I do remember that. Down here, I'm fine. Are you sure? I can walk you back if you need me to. I'm just down there, I'm fine. I have a good time. Me too. Let's do it again. What's going on? What are you doing? Rose, this is gonna be for your own good. You need to get help, okay? These guys are here to help you do it. Come on, you guys.
Hello? Excuse me, miss. Hi. Yes, hi, miss. Do you live here? No, I'm just a friend. Have you seen a little girl by the name of Rose Tilly? Um, I saw her yesterday. Why? What's going on? Well, I should probably talk with her parent or guardian first. It's only her mother. She might not be home. I'm not sure. Well, do you mind checking if she's home first? Sure, no problem. Officer Rizzo, sorry for the intrusion, but I'm here asking about your daughter, Rose Tilly. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. Rose was taken to the hospital last night. I'm sorry, miss. We've been trying to get in contact with you for a little while, but it appears that your daughter has actually eloped from the facility. I don't understand. How can this happen? Wait, what do you mean? Rose went to the hospital? Emily, this is a private matter. It doesn't concern you. Officer, I, I apologize for that. You were here. It's okay, ma'am. But we have several officers who are going to be looking for your daughter. Once we find her, we'll let you know. Thank you, officer. I really appreciate everything you're doing. Absolutely. And here's my card. If she happens to show up, give me a call. If we find her, we'll give you a call. Thank you so much.
go. Not the bridge. Rose, no! You're okay. I thought you might have. Yeah. I almost did. What happened? I didn't have the guts to do it. I was too scared. I'm so glad that you're okay. Why are you here? How did you find me? Oh my God, you don't even know. You won't believe it. Grace brought me here. How? What do you even mean? Grace brought me here. I saw her. I don't understand this. I thought I was the only one. Let's get out of here, okay? Okay. Let me help you. Wait, who's that? I think that's your mom. Mom? Remember, no matter what, I love you. And Emily, get over here. Get in here. Group hug. <laughs> Thank you.